we made camp here by Wrinkle Reservoir at uh, the McLeod River. And uh, while we were driving out this morning, we found wild raspberries alongside the road. See if you look at them here. Awesome. We're going to try and make a cobbler or something if we can get enough of them. Hopefully there's more as we drive out. But I'll show you. you can see the bushes here along the roadside. And uh, that's just a bunch of wild raspberries on them. Mmm. Yummy. Wife's up there picking some. So we picked all of these raspberries, which is awesome. I've never had raspberries like bushes that were just this good. Um, uh. And so now we're going to make some cobbler. And my wonderful wife is going to take over and do that part of the job. <laughs> Want me to tell them what I'm doing? So I have about four cups of berries in there. I'm going to put that in my pan first, just like I'm baking a pie. I just don't have a bottom crust. Had an extra leaf there. I already washed these berries. It's okay if some of them are a little bit tart. Um, they'll all be wonderful together. Because we're going to add sugar to them. Because I'm not sweet enough. But we don't want to add too much sugar because we don't need it. So about a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of, I'm using coconut sugar. You can use whatever sugar you love. And then I'm going to put three or four tablespoons of flour that will soak up the juice. And this is a gluten-free free cobbler because that's what we do. No, this is a gluten-free blend here, but you can use regular flour too. So about a quarter of a cup, my cup has measurements on here, so I pretty much use everything all the same. And then I'm going to just toss my berries in that. And if I want, I may add a little cinnamon. I want to, so I'm going to. You don't have to. You don't like cinnamon. Ignore the cute puppy that's whining. She just wants to be part of the video. So. Cute puppy. She really just wants to play with the kids and they left her. Okay, so. It'll look kind of like this, like pie filling, right? And then I'm going to cut butter into it. About two to four tablespoons. I'm gonna put my knife. And I'm just gonna cut it into chunks in there and just mix it around. It'll make it even yummier. This is pretty much my pie recipe, but then I'm gonna make um, a biscuit recipe on the top and I'm just going to sweeten it a little bit. So, and a little bit more butter. Sorry, this is boring. Okay, so my next thing I'm going to do is make my buttermilk biscuit recipe and I'm going to let these actually cook a little bit on um, the stove while I'm doing that because I want these to be hot bubbly when I pour the biscuits on top of them basically like a dumpling, right? So I'm just going to scoot this away from my heat source here and get this started. And I'm not going to do it too high. I don't want them to burn. I made um, a cup of buttermilk already. I don't carry buttermilk, but if you just add a tablespoon of lemon juice or vinegar, I already did that. And I have one egg in here, so I'm going to whisk that all together. Yolk is one great cup. That's good yolk. And then I'm going to do, let's make sure my recipe's good. <clears throat> I'm going to do about six tablespoons of um, flour or sugar is what it calls for. So again, I'm I don't measure as well as I maybe should, but I'm going to do about a third of a cup of sugar into the biscuit so that they're a nice sweet biscuit instead of a um, dinner biscuit, let's say. I also need a teaspoon of salt and, about I, that much. and I need about um, <clears throat> six tablespoons of oil, um, two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. So again, I'm going to do about a third. It's going to be about the same deal third of a cup. and mix it. And then I'm going to do two cups of flour. And now if you don't do gluten-free, you don't have to do this next part, but I'm going to add some xanthan gum to it as just a thickener. Now as those berries are going to start to heat up, I'm going to mix them just a little bit so they're nice and hot when I put the biscuits on there. And I want this to be kind of a loose biscuit, 
so I'm not I'm added a little more milk than maybe if you wanted to roll out biscuits but when you're camping we do a lot of drop biscuits because it's really the easiest to do um, I'm still trying to perfect the double broiler oven thing it's not always working out but we're trying so if it seems too um, thin you can always thicken it but this is going to make a pretty yummy dumpling so see it's pretty loose kind of cake battery almost mix it a little bit more here and then my um, berries are starting to get hot over here and I'm just going to stir them around and make sure that all of them are hot before I pour that on and then I'm going to put the lid over it and cook them on medium try not to do it on high because you don't want your berries burnt to the bottom although my husband does the dishes so it's okay and um, yeah I'm going to pour this on here and then I'm going to bake it and I'm going to let these berries warm up just a little bit more the once the butter's melted I know they're nice and warm and then I'm going to pour this on top cover it and 25 minutes we'll show you what it looks like Okay, so I just scooped that on there and I'm just kind of going to smooth it around. You don't have to. You can make it like dumplings if you want to have special yeah. servings. I just think it cooks better if it's a little evener. But as soon as you put the lid on, it's going to broil. It's going to like uh, make it a wet biscuit like a um, dumpling. <laughs> I don't know. I lost the word. I'm tired. Okay, this has been boiling for about 20, 25 minutes on medium and it smells very lovely and yummy and you can see the bottom kind of um, gelled up a little bit like pie still boiling a little bit and my dough is nice and done so I'm gonna let it cool just a minute before we serve it and we bought whipped cream to go on top of it even which is gonna be so yummy so hope you guys do this and enjoy God's nature bounty there you go Awesome, like, uh, was it? I said blackberry, but it's raspberry, raspberry cobbler. <laughs> Perfect. Yum. Yum.